Hey there, and welcome back to my sewing room for another edition of Hashtag Friday Sews, where we talk about things that I have accomplished in my sewing room this week. Well, a couple of videos ago, which I'll pop that up here in this corner, I shared that I have made some embroidered tote bags for children in my church because they get to go to big church now. And these are their worship bags. They get to put their Bible and other things uh, that they take to worship. Um, and yes, probably a little toy in there uh, to, to take to worship as they are experiencing that for the very first time. Well, since I've made that video, our class has doubled. Therefore, I have had to make more tote bags this week. And this particular child had um, a very long name. And so in my embroider hoop, I always like to do a test piece before I actually do it on the actual tote bag. And I'm so glad that I did because the first one ended up being very small. And I thought, you know, that's that's not going to really make a big statement on the actual tote bag. So I kind of manipulated the sizes because it still wanted to kind of crunch it in to the hoop that I had for that particular machine. And I was able to make it a little bit bigger which I have here, and I was able to get the size that I liked better, make sure that it was in the favorite color of the child, um, and she likes pink. And so when she comes back this next weekend, I look forward to presenting her with her very own tote bag. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, I'm feeling more confident in my embroidery skills, especially on these tote bags. So I am kind of learning some new things, which is always good, as well as consistently making them. And so hopefully we'll have more kids come and then I'll be able to make their tote bags as well. That pen that I shared in that last video was indeed a lifesaver. It was easy. It was tr truly, truly, truly a water soluble marking pen. And so I had less frustration this time, which was a wonderful. <laughs> so small wins, right? Um, the next thing that I've been working on, um, I'm working on three different t-shirt quilts. And my background is in children's ministry. So I have led a number of vacation Bible schools, as well as camps. And then I was also using things for my college quilt, t-shirts from my college days. So I had actually cut out 17 of the blocks. So they're all have that fusible um, interfacing on it. Um, then I've cut them out to the blocks. Most of them are 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And um, I am sorting them by category. So I have all of my vacation Bible school uh, blocks done. And then I have, whoops, upside down. I have my camp squares together. I'm changing the camp theme to camp and retreat because some years we did not go to a children's camp, but we did a retreat for a weekend for my older kids. So I have these blocks and then I'm working on some college t-shirt blocks. Now, some of the t-shirts had a repetitive design on the front, kind of like a pocket um, screen there. And I went ahead and decided I wasn't going to keep those. I went ahead and threw them away but some of them had the actual year on it. And so I went ahead and cut that and I'm placing it with the larger square so that I can maybe kind of the idea is put them in year sequential order. We'll see how that works. This um, print here design was much smaller. And if I would have done it in a 12 and a half by 12 and a half, um, I don't think that it would have really captured the actual theme for that vacation Bible school. So I'm kind of playing it by ear, kind of taking it t-shirt by t-shirt and um, kind of seeing what size I want that to do. I found that putting this in this little art bin has been very helpful to do. So that's kind of how I'm um, putting them in by categories. There's a plastic piece in here that I'm able to separate the different themes of VBS, college, college days, and camps and retreats. So 
We still have a lot more to do. Uh, I finished one tote of t-shirts, so that is good. <laughs> And I still have some more. I won't tell you how many more, but I have some more to go through. So I am making progress on that. So I feel pretty confident in what I have accomplished this week in my sewing room. Um, been also purging quite a bit of things. And that has been very freeing. There's a lot of things that I've kept that were empty boxes or empty thread containers. And so it was very freeing to use some of my time this week to kind of go through drawer by drawer to see what I could actually purge and throw away because they're no longer usable. So I feel very good about what I have done this week. So I hope that you're having a wonderful week. I would love to learn what you are doing. So comment below and until we meet next time, I will pop another video up here for you to watch and I will see you in my next video. Happy sewing.